more conservative than some of the forecast models that I look at. Some of the forecast models want to go even hotter than that. Uh, so that's about as optimistic I can get. No doubt about it. I hope careful. your forecast models are wrong. The wrong forecast <laughs> models, yeah. The only time of the year that I'm, I'm okay with them being wrong, for sure. Be careful out there. Yes. Thanks, Albert. Well, a central Texas town is hoping a mythical creature will help bring in more tourists. KV's Jenny Lee has the story. If you're loading up and heading out for this summer, there may be a few water goddesses now that may steer you toward the city of San Marcos. Mermaid statues meant to draw you in within the San Marcos city limits. Mermaids is a great way to go. Ten colorful art installations now up all around town for the next year and a half. It's part of San Marcos' public art project. But what do mermaids have to do with the city? I like them. They're decorative. Turns out a lot. We are going around to try to find all ten mermaids. We ran into Lynette Cummings at one of the statues. She told us she wanted her kids to learn the history of the mermaids. The symbol of the mermaid is really where I felt could be something very powerful for our community. July Moreno is the founder of the Mermaid Society. She started the group to change the city's image. When people think of San Marcos, um, well, immediately it comes to at, at least for the most part when you're traveling here, the outlet mall, which is wonderful, and we're grateful for that. Um, and then it's just kind of a pass-through town. Moreno says the mermaids came from the Aquamaid show that started in the 1950s and ended in the 90s at Aquarina Springs and included Ralph the Pig, which is memorialized in one of the statues today. <laughs> Moreno says the mermaids are also protectors of the San Marcos River. That's what we found six-year-old Kenya and showed her a picture of one of the mermaids. Do you like mermaids? No. Is 